Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are currently fighting the Hadam Progenitors here and we will go ahead and proceed forward. All we need to do at this point is take over their planets and there's only I think three remaining. Four. Unless they have multiple planets, I suppose. <laughs> there are four systems with planets remaining. We are currently attacking the preserve, I think. Are we heading over here? Yes, we're flying to the preserve right now. And we do have our jump drives on cooldown for another 80 days. That's reasonably fine. Fleet combat stats. Okay, whatever. We are going to definitely expand our advanced research complexes here while we're waiting. Lost. Oh, this is the pirate fleet, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. They can do whatever they want up there. We're heading up there with the juggernaut. No big deal. So the industrial world here, it needs housing and it needs a job. To be honest, an industrial district will handle both of those, so we'll get that solved. This industrial world it needs a job. Again, an industrial district will stop will solve that just fine. This forge world. Spaceport under attack. This forge world is a little bit in an awkward position. This is definitely not one that I set up, but we'll get some civilian replica complexes here. We are making a good amount of consumer goods, but we'll just do that for now. This forge world here. We don't have a civilian industry on it. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll do. And then we've got this factory world here. Which I'm going to bump back to an industrial world. And upgrade these alloy mega forges. There we go. Special that should solve project it. Complete. Fantastic. Deploying liberation forces. What special project did we just complete? That I don't know. But we are attacking the preserve. They only have one building on here. That's interesting. It's basically already taken over. Unfortunately, we're hitting the back line here. I would really prefer that we focus on the front line until the morale is broken, but we have no control over that. Colony conquered. Which, by the way, that's something that I would like to see Paradox rework is the ground combat system and give the player a little bit more control over what's happening there. So Brother, Cradle, and Mother here are, of course, going to need to be landed on. There are three here. 2215, 2215, and 3676 in strength. Let's bombard at each of these. Uh, where's our other fleet at? It is this one. You can come over to Mother, and then we are going to grab our army, and we're going to head up this way first. So we'll land on Damiun 2. That should be a much easier landing. And then up over here, we've got Famnu. Yeah, that's another easier landing. So we're just going to bombard each of these locations for the time being, and we could bring in additional fleets if we really wanted to, and I think that's okay. Let's bring all those fleets in. And we're going to take, like, the first over to Brother. We'll take the fourth. The fourth. There we go. Over to Mother. And then we'll set the sixth on to Cradle. There we go. Deploying and then we've got how many here? Forces. Two? Okay, we'll take the second on to Mother. Because that was the actual highest one. And then we will bring the fifth fleet... And set that one on to... No, that was the one I already did. Hang on a moment. The second fleet comes over to Brother. Cool. So there's all of that underway. And we are landing on Damiun right now. So let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, this is no problem. We're already wider than their combat width. They, we have two of their armies broken in morale. I would have preferred that we focus on these and break their morale first, but it's fine. Like I said, there's no way to control this other than to retreat, so it is what it is. We're not going to lose anything here. It'll be fine. Their morale is broken, so it's pretty over. Cool. Cool. Colony conquered. As expected. Next, we're going to head up to Fomnu, and we'll land here. Cool. So this is only 584. This is not going to be particularly challenging again. We're only at minus 193 at this point. Now, we are going to have to grab all of these for them to accept this, but that's okay. 
I want to check in on our Federation here. We're a long ways from level 5, but let's see what laws we might want to change to. We're still doing well on our economic power, and that's constantly increasing. That's very good. It would probably ultimately be in our favor to, bu to bump up to high fleet contribution. Deploying Liberation Forces. Probably. It would probably be in our favor to do that. For now, though, I'm just going to continue to reinforce the fleet. There we go. And we are, of course, invading up on Famnu. So that'll be done shortly. We are going to lose this Xenomorph army, but that's okay. Losing a Xenomorph army here and there is no big deal. We may lose this one as well. Okay. Uh, morale is pretty broken at this point. I think we're not going to lose it. Yeah, we're good. We should be fine now. Fantastic. Colony conquered. And we are then going to take our army down to Egror. Egrore? Maybe it's supposed to be Egrore. There's a lot of lag here. Okay, we need to look at Brother. 2266, Cradle, 3733, and Mother, 2274. Okay, so Brother is the one we're going to want to land on first, I think. The Devastation here will continue to fall. We need to get our Devastation up to 75%, and for the moment, we're going to hop out of there to reduce the lag. It'll be another 42 days before our army arrives, so that's okay. There's uh, a few ships here, that's for sure. Ah, the art installation reached its nascency stage. Cool. So we could upgrade that to maturity. That will cost an additional 10,000 alloys, unfortunately. We can bump that on up. Or rather, we can buy that in. There we go. And we can go ahead and do that. Fantastic. We'll continue to take forward here, and very soon, we will get this all finished up. But this bombardment's going to take a little while. There's no doubt about that. Okay, a century array were, was finished by the Vor. That's fine. They are, after all, our vassals at this point. So that is good. We'll arrive here in 20 days. Man. This is fastest. <laughs> Gotta love the late game Stellaris lag. It is absolutely amazing. So what is our plan after we deal with the Hadam progenitors? Well, we're going to annex all of this territory. That is a guarantee. And then we're going to look at dealing with the Kalak Tora, I believe. Hypothetically. I wanted to check to see if there was a way to do a release subject, Wurgle. Unfortunately, there's not. So we're probably just going to make some claims on, like, this area up over here and then this area down here. That's all, like, this is split. The Kalktora space is split into three regions, right? We've got this region here. We've got this region here. And these are technically connected. And then we've got this region up here. So I guess you could say it's split into two regions plus this location. It's, it's a little awkward. But Lithorius 2 here requires additional jobs. I think that we need to get rid of this. Actually, we're best off on exotic gases right now. Let's get rid of this exotic gas refinery. We're going to put in an alloy foundry in its stead. I would also like to replace these generator districts. We're doing just fine on our energy credits. I'd like to replace those with industrial districts. So we'll get that all underway. Anything else that we've got going on up here? No, not for the moment. Now we have arrived in this system and we should go land on brother. Now we're almost certainly going to take some damage here. We have done a good amount of damage to their garrison, though. I brought it down by over 10%. And it's dropping fast. Cool. 
So we're going to order that, and anything that is currently over Brother, which is this stuff up here, is going to move down to Cradle. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, you are not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? I thought I ordered you to land on Brother. Maybe I only moved to Brother. Entered orbit. That's a possibility. So let's come on in here and land armies. We'll select brother so that we can actually see what's going on. And there we go. Cool. Now we can see that they are Deploying replenishing, but forces. not for long. We have arrived. We're going to lose a few xenomorph armies most likely here. They have a lot of reserves currently. And they're really focusing down this Xenomorph army here. I'm hoping that it gets disengaged, but it probably won't. If I had to guess. Yeah, it does not get disengaged. We'll see if this one does. That's a negative. Okay, well, we knew that this would be a reasonably tough fight. So that's fine. We'll take a few losses here. No big deal. Hmm. That was a long day tick. Okay. Hopefully this Xenomorph army gets disengaged. No, it's not going to happen. This one did, though. Okay. We're going to lose another one. I'm going to go to Earth here, and we're going to recruit ourselves some... I don't know. A bunch of these. I'm not spreading it out. We're not super keen on them being finished very, very quickly. But let's get, like, I don't know, 75 queued up. There we go. Because of zero index, 74 is actually 75. So there we go. Cool. Now we're going to have to look at brother here. Boy, it's laggy. Okay. There we go. Cool. So that's all well and good. We are nicely underway here. Technology and we're working discovered. our way through their reserves. They only have four reserve armies left, and their morale is dropping fast. That's another Xeno army disengagement. That's nice. I like that. And every day that goes by, their other locations in the system are getting weaker. So that's very, very good. We do have an unspent... Oh, a relic activation. Sure. We also finished up some monthly unity here. So let's go ahead and grab, I think... We're over our starbase cap. Let's grab starbase capacity. We'll hop back in here. Look at brother. All good. There's another disengage. I like it. And we are... Okay, little Charlie was uh, re-elected. We are basically at this point... Actually, we are now through all of their reserves. So that's great. Their morale is broken on most of their remaining armies here, or very close to it. This morale is broken, this morale is broken, broken. This is low morale, but these two Technology are untouched. Discovered. So these two are still doing full damage. Where did this Gene Warrior army just come from? I guess they built it? Weird. Okay. Very strange. Not all that relevant, but very strange. We've got plenty of Xenomorph armies still here. Their disengaged armies are getting focused down. And that's reasonably okay, though, because these morales are broken. So it's all good. Yeah, morale is broken here. They don't have any real significant damage remaining here. So that's good. We are missing an engineering research. Let's go ahead and grab kinetic weapon attack speed, I guess. That'll do. And I'm going to hop in here. Brother will be done very shortly. Colony conquered. Cool. So now the question is, how much is on Mother here? It is dropped substantially. Down to 1652. 
cradle is still quite high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our army here. And we're going to tell that land on mother. And then these units here are going to all go up and bombard cradle. Cool. Oh, we want to have mother selected here. There we go. Fantastic. So this is regenerating, but it'll only get a few points before we land. So that'll be fine. Deploying liberation and there we forces. go. Combat width of seven. And we'll take a few losses here for sure. But that's okay. Ooh, that was a solid disengage. I like it. I would have preferred that they wait until it's right before. Mostly because of the... Uh, be because of the fact that Xenomorphs don't have morale. Yeah, it's, it's generally a little bit awkward, the priority that's chosen here. I would definitely like it if we were able to interact with this in some way. Unfortunately, we can't. We can just watch. I mean, that is kind of the way that Paradox ground battles go, right? It's pretty non-interactive usually, but I would like some interactivity here with the system. Even if it's just like you have a set number of disengages that you can manually trigger or something, even that would potentially make a big difference. Like, disengage that right before that tick happened? That'd be pretty neat. But we're chipping through this pretty quickly. Disengage this guy here in, like, three more ticks. Actually, two more. Now. Sadly, it didn't get disengaged, but it's all good. Okay, so there goes that gene army. And you can see here, they're primarily focusing on the back line because the, the combat width is not fully reached. I would still prefer here that they be focusing on the front line because the front line is what deals the damage. Except for this unit. This unit's morale is broken. Both of these are, actually. So I would prefer that we be focusing on these two. Not that we can control that in any meaningful way. So we clean up their back line before we really start hitting their front line here, which is sad. But it is what it is. Okay. So of course we win this. We, we fully expected that. The question is, do we wait before invading Cradle or not? And I think the answer is no. We've got lots and lots of power here. We should be fine. So we're just going to wrap up this war. Colony conquered. There we go. There are minus 29 reasons at this point. And all we need to do is take over their capital. Now, let's see what Cradle's at. It's actually dropped very substantially. How much is it dropping at a per day basis here? One, 1. 1.25, something like that. Okay. Uh, we're not going to wait that out. We're going to grab our army. We're going to land on Cradle. We've got more than enough strengths to deal with this. Cool. And while we're setting up for that, we will continue to drop the strength of the 12th defense pod here. This will be a little stronger than our previous invasions, but it won't be too bad. We're already chunking through their front line here. No problem whatsoever here. Would have liked to see a disengagement there, but it's fine. We can always make more Xenomorphs. No big deal. Their defensive armies are pretty tough, but we can definitely beat them. We're already seeing a good number of disengagements there. We're a solid amount of the way through their reserves, so that's great. So we're not going to have any problems here. While we're watching that, let's go down through this real quick. Actually, Trappist Prime here could use some work. So let's grab ourselves a research complex. What else do we need here? This industrial world? An industrial district. This forge world. We'll have to have somewhere where these workers can auto-migrate to. On this forge world, we can definitely put in an industrial district. We can also put in a civilian industry and upgrade this alloy mega forge, just so that we have an auto migration location that's valid. Cool. Technology. Okay. Uh, can we build a 
Ministry of Production here? Yes, we can, and that's what we'll do. I'll also upgrade this Alloy Mega Forge for the moment. Applied Superconductivity is done. Cool, and we will go for energy weapon damage next. We're full on food. Let's just sell that off. That'll do. Okay, and the rest of that all looks good. So let's check in on Cradle here. If I can get the frame rate to cooperate. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. So many ships in that system. So we've only disengaged two Xenomorph armies. We're definitely seeing some relatively substantial Xenomorph losses here. But that's okay. We're we're recruiting a lot more. It should be fine. We're banking up influence right now. It is unfortunate that we had to spend extra influence on the claims here, but it is what it is. We lose another two Xenomorph armies here, but we're through their reserves at this point, and their combat width is low enough that we're hitting their back line. I would prefer to be hitting their front line here because these guys do minus 85% damage, but... Here we are. Fantastic. At least break the morale first, guys. Like, I don't know what they're doing. We're losing Xenomorph armies that we don't need to be here. There, now we're mostly hitting their front line. Cool. That's exactly what we want to see. In fact, we're exclusively hitting their front line right now. Not anymore, but that was good. That got us a good amount of damage reduction here. They are broken here, here, and here. These guys are low morale now. So we're taking much lower damage. Okay, all of their units are now broken. That's good. Absolutely no problem, and this war is about to be over, which means that we're about to have a massive lag spike as this all gets converted over. No doubt about that one, but that's okay. Cool. Colony conquered. So at this point, they would accept achieving war goals. Done. Time for lag spike. The moment they accept it, or actually we're voting on peace, aren't we? Everybody should vote for this. In theory. Okay, there it is. There's the lag spike. Cool. Another enemy dealt with. So we are going to take, yeah, the Hadam progenitors have been defeated. We're going to take all of these units and, man, is this laggy. Okay, we're going to take them all up over to Shukan. There we go. Okay, we can deselect that to get rid of the lag. Fantastic. And at this point, we can definitely go through some of these fancy new worlds that we've gotten. So we have this fallen empire colony here. It is pretty empty. I'm going to designate this a forge world. We're going to put in a ministry of production. We're going to put in a civilian industry. We're going to put in an alloy foundry and several industrial districts. Okay. This one here. We need housing. We can fix that fairly easily. I'm going to designate this one also a Forge World. Alloy Foundry, Civilian Industry, and Ministry of Production. Where are you at? Wait, can we not build one? We can't actually build one. We don't have a planet... Wait, we do? We have a planetary administration. Okay, fair enough. We'll build a few of those. Uh, this here, I think we'll also designate this one to be a Forge World. I think it's fine. I think we're having no real problem with that. So a Ministry of Production. And then a Civilian Industry and an Alloy Foundry. Cool. I mean, I'm going to continue doing this until we run into an issue. So not chemical plants. Civilian Industries and Ministry of Production if we can. We can. Cool. We've got a few more of these. This one is much more developed, and it's got auto forges, it's got affluence center, class four singularity, sure, sure, sure. Um, we're lacking quite a lot of housing here. We'll build a system capital complex, build a city district. There's a lot of crime, there's a lot of worker unemployment. I think a lot of this has to do with the devastation. So we're just going to let that tick down. We'll probably replace these fortresses at some point. 
But for now, we'll leave that be. We've got Brother here, which we can definitely build the city district on. And there's some room for expansion there. We'll build the city district on Mother as well. And then Damiun 2 here, we'll go ahead and do the same. Actually, Moat Harvesting Traps. We'll put that in. We'll put in a Ministry of Production, and we will put in Civilian Industry, Alloy Foundry. Bump that up. And we will, not terraform, we want to have this be a forge world. There we go. So we'll get that all going for now. I have changed my mind. It's been a while since we put in a tech world. I'm going to do a tech world here. So this will be a research institute. And then we'll put in like a bunch of research labs. There we go. And as far as this one here goes... No, this is fine. We'll leave it be there. Now, we're wildly over our starbase cap for the moment. I don't think we're going to run into major issues. But we're probably going to want to address some of these. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will continue spreading liberty in the galaxy. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.